G'day, g'day. Welcome to Alzaz, a 3v3 map on the Mod Valkyrie. This is one of my favorite maps, or was one of my favorite maps. So I can't wait to see what uh, kind of action there is. There's going to be a lot of flanking. The side flags are adjacent to the middle flags, and it's quite easy to flank the middle from the side. So it provides a lot of natural teamwork for all these players. So a lot of competitive players here. We've got Jutsuka on the axis as Japanese. And he's going in Assault Squad, and on the centre, Taker, I don't know who that guy is actually, he's going a regular squad as Hungary, and Liam as Germany, going the other side with a regular squad, I think. Other end in the centre, Taker's facing off Skirt Shell, another player I was not familiar with too, until recently play a few uh, Elite Single Rifles. Ooh, Elite Single Rifles by Shotter. Ooh, all Elite Single Rifles by Shotter, that's my kind of start there. I like that uh, the Lara Rifle so much. Assault Squad from Godwin, and a lot of singles, single SMGs, uh, thank, thank you Simon for reminding me to turn on the squad icons by the way, as I actually know what they're spawning, <laughs> regular squad, who's going to get to the wall first, oh no, Liam's going to open up on Godwin's face, SMG, boom boom, Godwin ducks, straight away just to get his shots firing at the same time, and it may work into his favour as these guys are pinning, getting pinned down, but MG is in a position now, mowing down, the troops in a pretty good range. This is MG42 range where it can be very effective. Du -du 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 -du. And I'm going to predict that uh, Godwin is going to fail this assault. A grenade by Liam on the side. Oh, and not many left. And let's check out in the center how that's going. Center we got uh, Taker. He's trying to get into a good position with cover. We got uh, Skirt Shell with uh, lots of split up positions on multiple angles, but not many troops actually. He hasn't got too many in that area. Um, Shutter. Not really uh, contested. Looks like the lower, the lower rifles are just sitting in the backfield. And these guys are just too scared to approach. And that's good just because forces two mates going up against each other. An interesting bike by Jitska. Excuse me. Trying to support the center. <laughs> Taker moving at the same time. Oh, out in the open. And that machine gunner is going to mow down. No, it's not because. Skirtio has just too many guys firing at it and an MG in Crane. The French troops recapitan has got a Japanese bike, but not if Taker has something to say to it. Say for it, and he's uh, got that. And what is that? Rifleman with... That's probably the elite icon, because that's an elite rifleman from the Hungarian. Um, so he's done with the icons, done up all the icons, as you can see. The two MGs from Taker. MG13, pretty shit MG. I don't know if he's changed the reload speed, but in the award at war, it was a ferocious reload speed. Uh oh. Squadly from Skirt Shell takes out the MG. No, evades. This is gonna move back. I think it uh, looks like the French troops of Skirt Shell have got a bit of base of fire. West Northern Point, we have uh, Shotter still holding it. The Laurel Rifle with their silence. Silencer, doing well to scare off Jutska in any sort of open open ground shootout. Jutska coming in now with the SNLF, upping the ante on Shotter, and at the same time, the one special point Kunu, that's a good rush vehicle for the Japanese, but unfortunately getting stuck on this log. Uh, no answer from Shotter yet, no AT rifle as well. Jutska does realize it's stuck, and now has moved out of the log. Let's see this SNLF shoot its way into the Dalal Rifle Commando's stomachs. Running in one versus many. There goes his helmet. Look at that firepower. Powerless do anything. Kenu in the back as well. Has Shotter responded? Yep, he's gone with Crusader AA. Easy counter on that Hago. Center point. Skirt Shell is doing well as of still. And the Outside of the center point, Taker struggling to get him, but he's going with a flamethrower precariously. One of the most only only troop in the center, no uh, diversion of bullets for this flamethrower, and he's been targeted down and shot to pieces. Skirt Shell with uh, some guys behind the sandbag trying to flank take Taker at the same time. A bit of a decline there, can't really shoot at them. Nice grenade, perhaps. Ooh, he's been thrown back, but uh, unfortunately doesn't. I'll throw it too far and take it as a nice flank on Skirt Shell's troops. Let's see the Crusader AA. Kernu, Crusader AA. Jutska using the hill to his advantage. He's going to try to take a turret. 
missing so far. But the AA has taken out quite a few of Jutska's troops. A black watch, I believe, from Shotter. Oh, he started it. Jutska with a sneaky play. I wonder if it's actually gone. And I think it may be as he's coming out to play. And it's started Jutska Shotter using its uh Oh, it's tracked as well. Is it tracked? No, it's not. It's not tracked. It's not tracked. So we can still fire him. Shotter manages to take it out by angling his hull. And it's still being able to support the Jutska here from the side. Bazooka perhaps. Nice move. Oh, misses. And these guys can turn around and get him. No, they're not. And the Crusader A can't move away in time. <laughs> He's going to get taken out. But now this Bazooka is in no man's land. And it's going to be hunted down. But MG on the side from this SNLF support may be able to help. No, Jutska has given up for him. It's just totally uh, moved his control elsewhere. He's not uh, controlling this guy at all. And he could escape. No, he's actually going to fire back. <laughs> That's definitely not him to run back to the MG. He's going to fight instead and <laughs> takes him out. That's uh, pure MLG micro level there. Young man's micro level. Another Kunu out. So we're spamming these one special point, Jutska. And let's just take a look what's going on. Godman has lost his point from Liam. Liam's MG from the start is still... No, it's not. So now it's a Panzer Grenadier, the MG. It's died. But Panzer three from Liam. The Ost E. It's supposed to be the, fl the flamethrower one? No, it's not. Just a normal Ost E. Flamethrower hiding from Godman behind this house. And Liam is trying to hunt it down. Can use the back... Use that wall as a backboard. Doesn't matter, I guess these guys will find the flamethrower sooner or later. This is the shocking you are. The second one usually fires back. Well, I guess not. He's uh, behind enemy lines. Sniper from Liam. I try to take out uh, Godman's forces behind this wall. And we'll get the numbers. Flamethrower has perished. And it looks like Liam is uh, going to help the center out soon. T60 in from Godman from the, in the center. And the Ostef, I guess, is a good buy for that. Sniper relocating to try to run away from it. And the flag is now being approached with with uh, uh, Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss AA. Not many French troops left <laughs> laying about in the center. Shot out with a Crusader AA. What's that one? That's the one with the QF-13. So I suppose, I'm not sure, it's a 32 armor. I think this is the cheap one, so it's a cheap baby one. And he bought that perhaps to take out the Tar C. Yeah, just because just has got a Tar C coming. And what else has he got? He has got anything else, so that will do okay. And a bit of a shootout happening. No one's flag as of yet. Both have a good good amount of troops on both sides to cover the approach to the flag point. Through AA, trying to fire at something in the center. No, it's not. It's trying to fire far away down there. It looks like he's also repairing the crew AA 20 mil, which will be a nuisance once it gets up and running. Tarsi, oh, it's sorry, my mistake. It's the Crusader Howitzer gun, like a Panzer N type vehicle. Not having much luck shooting at the sandbags. It's an awkward hill position. Tarsi. It's actually aiming at the Tarsi and does take out the Tarsi. Wow, okay, that's good to know. So you know that can happen. I didn't know that could happen. So Tarsi can get howitzered by 76mm. Oh, center. Bit of uh, back and forwards. Still looks like it's Taker's point because of that Hotchkiss. Hasn't encountered yet. Nice grenading from Taker. He's really moving around the sandbag line. This one guy is going to cause a bit of damage. You know, Take the remaining, uh, I guess, powerful unit in this stone wall. That MG. Oh, this knocks him out. I think here is a counter. What is this? Is this a hand mortar? It's a hand mortar. Nice. Two inch mortar. MK2. Look at that tiny little explosion. But <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know there was a hand mortar in the game. I had no idea. A little French artillery. And now maybe take out this. Uh, Hotchkiss, but Taker doing a massive amount of damage in the center. Liam actually doing a massive amount of damage on his side. 
1,600 kill MP worth, while Godwin's got 554. Skirchow with a B1 Biz Tur, that's the heavily armoured, uh, reinforced, I guess, uh, armoured B1 variety. Coming in to support Godwin, T60 wreckage next to it. And Liam, may we have a shot with the Brandenburger? Oh, nasty. Liam's really contributing to his team by kills. 2,000 points so far. 2,000 MPs worth. That's nearly a whole person's MP for the entire game on his payback. Chi He from Disco coming to the center to try to take out the Crusader 76 mil and does so. And I think it's repairable though, so he hasn't finished it off. Same as the Crusader AI, he needs to finish that off too. So both units may come back and bite him. Just go maybe. Yeah, maybe hitting hitting himself in the head in the future once those two tanks come back to bite him in the ass. His hand mortar doesn't seem to be that effective, hasn't taken out anything yet. Hoshkus still king of the field in the center, and that's what is um, making the axe the, the, the axis tick up now, 15 to 9, 19 to 15 in the lead at the moment. Mortar <laughs> struggling to do any damage whatsoever, landing so close to this guy but doesn't even take out anything. Very small uh, area of effect. Conscripts coming. La la. Lazy. Uh, <laughs> they're from the farms and they've got a lazy voice. Chihi. Backing away. Crusader AA looks so bad. This Hotchkiss is just in a, I guess not in, it's, it's an okay position, it's a good position to fire down, but nothing's just come by to counter it at all. Nothing at all. Yes, Gertschall offered his t terror services to Godman, but didn't uh, offer himself any services to take that out. KV, one buy from Godwin, interesting. This one we'll probably see more of in competitive games because the T-3457 has been taken out. A uh, reason for that is uh, Soviets were considered OP and they needed a bit of a gap. Uh, mind you, the KV-1 does fill the gap in some respects, armor-wise, just not gun-wise. So in that MP range, uh, it is viable and what the hell? Did it mortar just kill itself or did Godwin run it over? He probably didn't notice because there was just one little guy and you can't even see the mortar. Godwin just ran over. I think Godwin ran over that water. Uh, KV, KV now, uh, I'm going to try to take out, there's a Hotchkiss die, sorry, I missed that. But uh, now it opens the center for an assault from Skirtshell. Take out force to retreat. And the right. Shotter still holds with some nice Blackwatch little scum. On the outside, a lot of Japanese troops waiting for an assault at Kernu. A Chihi, Crusader A is back up, but still no anti-tank defenses, so uh, Jitska does have the tank superiority on that side, even though it's just a lowly Chihi. Godwin, sending, what is this, a charge unit? It's like a charge unit. Guys in trench coats, in nice warm Russian winter uniforms. And I think uh, Jitska just bought a 200mm rocket. Interesting. Well, let's see an assault. I see an assault impending. Tanks are moving. He's going to go for that Crusader AA. Nope, he's not. Backing away. Not many heavy tanks so far. 13 minutes in. Got Liam being a bit cheeky with his P3 coming in to finish off that uh, unit, perhaps. Ooh, KB1 bounces. Ooh, turrets. Turrets to Panzer 3 Ost E. That's still playing quite safe as well, Goblin, with this KV-1. Scared to move in this area. and scared of, scared of Brandenburgers, I'm guessing. T-60 from Goblin coming out as well. Brand carry. Oh, no, he's left his... Uh, he's just forget it. I'm just going to buy a truck. Brand carry is just going to suicide somewhere. Going to the right. So 28 to 19. The Axis are winning. I think it's ticking up to the allies now though, because they got back to center. 
just go trying to sneak your cat, but uh, no luck there. Spotted right away. And we got a Panzer Os D, 75 millimeter, 30 armor. It's like the Panzer N, just shit a shit a hull. A lot of light tanks we're seeing. I mean, light mediums we're seeing these days in this mod. A lot more cheaper, uh, cheaper Panzer three varieties, which do the same job, just less armor. And for those SPD guns, it's well, all you need, to be honest. There's some very nice, uh, well, obscure heals in Alzaz, but you can use them well. Oh, nasty explosion for that Panzer E. KV-1 finally takes it out. Half track now following up with Skirt Shell. This is a dual assault, Godwin and Skirt Shell, same time T-60. Now here's the charge from the Soviets, using its numbers now to just overwhelm the enemy. T-60, some collateral damage in play. Um, Shutter just took out the Chihi, or Jutska with a Piat on the top left, but we continue to focus on this assault. Let's see if this Brandenburger can do damage. It's going for the KV, yeah, that's a, what's the one I'll probably go for, to be honest too. It's the one with uh, that's worth the money. This guy might be pesky. It's blocked though. It's not as high. It's blocked by the stone wall. Woo, Panzer H rolling in from Liam. Takes out the T60 right away in a moving shot. And the Panzer Faust takes out the KV. The KV had a nice shot in the side of the Panzer H as well. But Liam, multiple kills at the same time. Uh, still ticking up on the board massively, 3,300 MP wise. And the other side, Shotter, holding the right point quite well too. 3.7 inch lay down into position of the river. 200 millimeter rocket had a good, a good go at it. Has decrewed it and taken out the ammo truck. He's going to buy another one, I think. Yep, he's buying a half track instead. Doesn't want to have this. Lucky that uh, ammo truck wasn't that close to 3.7. Now Liam returned the favor now with his own 20mm assault, this time looks Panzer H at the same time, pushing him back, nothing to stop them at all, nothing. The ebb and flow. Well center-wise, still nothing that much happening, it seems like uh, no one's dared to approach. The French still hold it strong, Taker, Taker's been flanking the center from the southern point. A nice grenade, perhaps? No. No, 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 no. 200 mil? Oh, cheeky bug at Godwin. This is a position of all positions. This is the position that, uh, yep, that you can be proud of. You tell all your Japanese comrades of. Or perhaps not. Look at that gun. Depends where it aims. If it aims too far, it's gonna kill itself. Boom! <laughs> this is a risky position. This is like. Um, probably, I don't know if it's safe or not, but probably eating the Japanese fugu fish can be compared. Oh wow, what's this? The Panzer H, sorry, missed that. Panzer H just got took out by the AMX 1375 French gun. Um, I think this is not, yeah, 44, I can see if I hover over it, 44 armor is the heaviest part, which probably is the front, so it's got a really good gun, but uh, not very good. Armor, it's like a tank destroyer. Now it's moving back. KV2 from Godwin. Classic uh, default type kind of buy. 3.7 moving up to the hill in a more defensive position. 36 to 28. So a bit. Hmm. Yeah, a bit of. Uh, what do you call it? A bit of substance now from the allies have some really great units on the field like 3.7 can take out anything really kv2 can take out heavy tanks and get the amx as well to do some damage so a lot of weight right now that the allies can dish to the axis so the axis don't have too much on the east and southern really nowhere i guess they don't really have anything but power rocket boom t60 lucky shot that must be i don't know i question that godwin Sorry, I, question, I would question that Godwin. Could be the Jutska tricks, Jutska hacks. Some exploit that was introduced to make the 200mm 100% accurate, accurate if you right click, left click and press A, M, B, A, M, B twice or something. Uh, 
lovely French models. <laughs> nice uh, French civilian unit resistance. Interesting hats as well, very stylish, very stylish, my friends. What a shot. Paratroopers coming down to the center. The OSD has managed to be taken out by something. 20 mil being sneaky, shooting on, shooting, then moving, relocating so it's not targeted by the KV-2 or something of the kind. So interesting, uh, French hasn't bought the Fil Poussants, the artillery three special points. Perhaps saving for the tank. I'm not sure if this is special. I'm pretty sure it's a special point. Playing through a buy. So nothing can wait yet. So they're holding on to two points. And uh, the the axis, but uh, nothing else coming so far. 200 mil has taken out the half track right there. Uh, misses the 3.7 once again. And I think uh, that needs to definitely be towed away very quickly. We're relocating once again. Taker again trying to flank the center from the southern point. Nice uh, maneuver. T60 repaired from Liam. And we'll stop that Renault from mowing down the Stonewall cover. I don't know what the MP is like. I wish I could still I could change. Unfortunately, this the bug is still there that I can't change, but what the 1,200 MPs worth of kills that veteran sniper has. Look at that. How good is that? Jesus. Right, so, um, yeah, just because got 720 MP, so it's got a decent back up his sleeve. Oh. Shut up. Pressuring just go all the way to his spawn point. T60 from Liam. Maneuvering to try help Jutsuka out, I'm guessing. Building infantry so far, Jessica just saving his money for another day, just wanting to fight it out with infantry at the moment. Shot up. SAS. Look at the SAS. They definitely changed. Their models change. You can see that the helmets are all, have all bushes on them. Good sandbag range. Perfect sandbag range. I think grenade range will be up here, so just before the grenade range. Shot of the Mexican, definitely building a nice wall, not allowing Jutska from USA to get past. T60 rolling back, probably realize there's no option because there's nothing to take out the tanks on this side. I don't see the axis. <laughs> Axis uh, having anything to come back with at the moment, other than a few lucky shots. I guess the Brumbar's here. Take it with the Brumbar. 150mm still 43 can take out tanks, I suppose. Looks like it's got a very high arc of fire. Can we reach over the hill to take out this unit? Oh, nasty. Accurate bastard, isn't it? Took out it in one shot. Just ripped the turret out. And look at Shata, SAS running up with the Piat. Boom, all the way down over here. Look at this. This is some uh, <laughs> fancy level stuff. Both of them fancying, trying to do some fancy stuff onto each other. Take out. Nope, not doing anything. Jutska with his uh, SNLF, going to go to the right perhaps. Chihi as well. They haven't really escalated uh, the vehicles too high this side. The shot has a 3.7, so that will take out anything. Brumbar being pinged. Oh! <laughs> Tries to take a shot. Knocks out so many. I think Jutsuka might take this opportunity to run up with the flamer. Do some fire shooting. Piat misses its shot. Oh! No, it's stuck! I think it does hit a lot. Oh, I think that's worth it. Took out the majority of the SAS squad, which is worth 350 MP. Or well, more than that, I think a bit more. Well, worth worth it. Worth it indeed. Two hundred mil relocating to the right side. What can it do? On this side, there's not. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, Liam should be able to hold this. Okay. 
But pushing, pushing wise, no. Centaur, it's going to be hard to push. There are so many entrenched forces in while that uh, SMG took out lots. And wow, that cow. The cow fell into the trench. It's going to be smelly. Make some beef burgundy stew. Looks like he's a yeah. You better ask. You better you go for legionnaire. Ask this guy if he was a chef. Uh, yeah, chef in his uh, day job. Might be uh, some nice uh, cow there. Yeah. Nice beef burgundy. Liam, veteran tiger. And this is probably time for a comeback. Yeah, it's a good goodbye. KV2 though is on the field, and also we have the 3.7 and the AVRE from Shotter. So you probably see a lot more different units on the field as units are priced to be priced to be I guess worth it. Maybe it's a default, hopefully. Well that's the goal anyway, as the World at War mod goal was that as well. But not always uh, being successful. But I'd like to think uh, definitely more so for default. More so than default. Let's see AVRE come in slowly. KV2 as well, so oh Ooh, Brumba, I think, just knocked the side of that track. KB2 in an awkward position. I mean, now Center is getting pushed. KB, sorry, Veteran Tiger using this stone to block the hull. It's quite paranoid. Cespa, 20 mil from Taker. At the same time, trying to come to the center point, but not wanting to venture out too far. 3.7. Slowly coming in, perhaps going to try to come up this hill. Oh, what was that? I think the Brumba took another shot, and I think that's turreted. See the AVRE in action. Tiger's coming in now, very aggressively. 3.7 is perhaps available for a shot soon. It's going to go straight dead bang on the unangled veteran Tiger. Liam is doomed. Shotter? No, perhaps it doesn't have a shot. Oh, he does have a shot. If you um, don't realize, um, Del Alba is Shotter, basically. That was his old nickname. I'd known him as Shotter for, for, I don't know, hundreds of, five, three years or whatever before. He's changed his nickname the last year, so I'll just keep, it, keep his old nickname. AVRE has potential shots everywhere. What is he going to target? Shotter has all the, all the cards to play now in the center. Center being assaulted by Taker. Being peppered away by all sorts. Oh, the mortar's actually still alive. The hand mortar. MGs. FM2429. Vet Tiger. Wow, aggressive. I guess it's doing a good job coming this side. 3.7. Can't, can't take it out. It's too far. And now I can support here to take out the KV-1 and the T-60. Misses the shot in the T-60. Oh, they need it soon. 80, 83 to 28. Wow, they actually need it very soon. This is too many shots. Brumba takes out the AVRE. Sorry, I missed that. But wow, Brumba is... Wow, it's definitely one of the men of the match. 200 mil actually is the man of the match. And veteran sniper amazingly killed that many units. Let's see his tiger again in action. It's just the Bedford to take out. Sneaky, sneaky scout from French, French scout, 3.7, shot up, firing, needs to reverse in an angled position, not that angled, a bit more angled to be honest, it's slightly angled right now, and in danger, looks like he's escaped the range, maybe the 200 mil from Jutsuka is going to go for it, it did fire, is it reloading, no it's reloading, Daimler whisks it away into safety. Very quickly. A nice uh, position from Jutsuka with his 20 mil. Direct shot down the sandbag line. Sorry, stone line. This side, still a lot of French entrenched. And uh, center point should be going down. KV2. Where's the rocket landing? I heard a rocket. Perhaps not. Ooh, Brumba! <laughs> KV is tracked again or something. Yep, tracked again. 
I think the KVD can't fire. It seems like it hasn't got a shot at anything because its turret's facing the sky or something. Uh, Tarsi come. Oh, 200 mil has taken out the 3.7. And that's definitely on top of the board, top of the scoreboard. Oh. Chihi takes out Kuei. Brumba, another shot on the KV2. Tarsi trying to get the center. 90 to 28. A big rush to the center. KV1. I'm going to try to take out the Chihi. Bazooka's coming in from Shotter. Yep, that ends the Chihi. KV1 is going to try to stop the cap in the center. Same time, Liam with flamethrower flanking and will do well. And does extremely well. Oh no, this one guy. Unfortunately, the, flame, the MG guy didn't uh, get flamed. He might get shot up, he's standing up in an awkward position. A few more SMG rounds to the body. Oh. Repaired tank, perhaps. T60 is repaired? No, being repaired. I think I missed the tiger dying. There you go. 3.7. Must have taken it out. Yep, third scoring. Third scoring unit. Brumba misses a shot on the KV-1. Sniper's definitely doing well on this map. This sniper's actually got a lot of veterancy as well. Brumba! Pia takes out the Brumba. Where? Where? Where was that Piat? I see dead bodies in the floor. SAS shot her right here with his Piat straight. Wow. Just a bit too slow these Pans Grenadiers to come to spot him in time. And Brumbar was the one thing. <laughs> well, not the one thing. 200 mil is actually doing well too. KV1 takes that out. Center has been recapped, so 28 to 90, they've managed to stop the cap. And now Axis are ticking up. A flank by Taker, perhaps going for the KV, let's see it go. Panzer Shrek definitely has enough penetration to do it. Peek, look, straight from the side, oh no! That was a, oh. oh, maybe come through the house perhaps. Scotch out. There's a few French troops remaining in the center. 3.7 on the hill. 20mm coming as well. Oh, rocket! It didn't take it out actually, it's just uh, damaging it. 20mm. That rocket score. <laughs> that rocket alone killed 3,000 MPs worth of units. Is that right? 11,000 MPs, but you, payback sometimes can be almost the same as the entire MP, so... And sometimes more. That kind of makes sense, I think. Or is that too high? No, it seems about right. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of French forces coming in. Support with the KV, support with it. This is all three of them coming from the center at the same time. And that's some uh, teamwork there. Let's go with the Cheeto, maybe too late. It's taking out the turret. It's king of the field, I guess. 3.7 being repaired, can't take it out. Rumbar being repaired as well, so it still can make an impact. Two round three from Taker in the background, also. Not really needed at this stage, probably needed the 20mm with the Cheeto support. KV1 sitting pretty. Just uh, gonna stay there. Just guard the point for maybe another nine points. I'm gonna use the crew AA as a bit of cover. Smartly done, but uh, unfortunately the KV-1 is a weaker turret than the hull. <laughs> oh, 3.7 repaired! Repaired and straight away at a, at a shot. And that uh, Tito has taken it out. Now two round three coming out for, for some action. And is dangerously in the sights. Nope. It's reversed away. 3.7 takes out the Tarsi behind the heart. Oh. 
Checking the partisans coming in the centre. I say, I love the sounds. Uh, I've watched a few games now and I can say I've got an opinion on it. I like the sound, shut up. Well done. I feel like I'm actually watching. Usually when I watch these games, I don't feel like I'm watching a war, but I feel like I am watching a war now. Partisans rolling into the centre. KV1. They're going to hold. They're going to hold. Nothing to take at the KV1. It's MG should be able to hold it. But the Hotchkiss over here from Taker. Don't know if it's in range. I think that heal is blocking. Ooh, 200 mil. 200 mil has not killed it. See, that's interesting. It can take out the 3.7 multiple times. It's the same one. Got repaired. I can take it out again. I think that's why. That's the reason why the score is a bit off because the 200 mil has taken out this 3.7 three times. And I think it's counted three times when it's in fact just damage. Usually when it's damage, when it's already counted the kill, it doesn't count it again. So it's weird why in this mod it is doing that. Granada! Now the Renault has been stolen. What will they do? <laughs> Get some free ammunition, Panzer Shrek. No. KV1 is safe. Crusader AA now going to seal the deal. Stop any troops from coming. Going to clock itself straight down in the center point. No, it's going to stay up on this hill. No, it's just going to charge in. Yep, definitely charge in. Only nine, one point to go. Wow. A great game. Both sides. Lots of swings, but uh, nicely held by the allies. Shutter, Godwin, and Skrchal, everyone going different nations. Um, interesting. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it played quite well. I saw a lot of new units, uh, a lot of early Panzer 3s at the start. Um, a lot of, uh, to be honest, a lot of rockets, a lot of SPG fighting. Rumbar seems a bit uh, too, bit really, really damn good. Um, it seems it's better than the AVRE. Is it, I wonder how many special points it is, but uh, I feel that was really good. Uh, 200 millimeter did very well. I don't know if that's changeable, or just go, but that seems so accurate. Anyway, thanks for the replay, guys, and uh, see you around.